Hello, and welcome to a short video that's going to show you how to meet a number of different objectives. My name is Allison Burnett, and I'm the Director of Virtual Learning. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about understanding the mobile app. We're going to look at video and network settings, how to record, rename a video, copy the video from the, your workspace on the app into a huddle, and also how to copy from the web into a huddle with or without your notes. These are some important things to know. Let's go ahead and get started. Once again, Sydney is a fully integrated web and mobile-based platform. So what I do on the web version of things is going to also appear in the mobile app. And what I do on the mobile app is also going to appear on the web. If I were to delete a video from the my workspace on the web, that video would also be deleted from the workspace on my mobile app, fully integrated. Sydney system requirements, remember that in order to successfully use the, your mobile device to record, you have to have space on that device to download the Sydney app, and you also have to have space on your device to record and store the video for a short period of time until it has made it successfully into the Sydney Cloud, then you can delete it from the device on which you're recording. In order to do that, you go to offline videos. The way you get the app is by going to the either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Once you've successfully downloaded the app and you've logged in using the credentials that you earlier used when you were logging into the web version of things, you're going to by default be taken into your workspace within the app. This is what the workspace looks like for an Android device, and this is what the workspace looks like for an Apple device. I always know where I am within the app by the heading of that space. So if I were to toggle from workspace to huddles, this title would change to huddles. Or if I were to toggle from workspace to offline videos, this title would change to offline videos. Notice also that very much like we have on the web, one of the things, we have a workspace, we have huddles. Something different though is offline videos or videos. That's because when we record from within the Sydney app, we are not recording on our camera roll, we're recording from within the password protected Sydney app. Therefore, the recordings are not on our camera roll, we have to access them from the offline videos in our app. And if we need to delete them, that's where we delete them from offline videos because they're taking up temporarily space on our device. Once we know that our videos are safely in the Sydney cloud, we can delete them from offline videos on our mobile device. We should always check though to make sure that our videos have successfully made it into our workspace on the web version of the platform. If we were to go to what's called the hamburger menu, so on my Apple devices in the bottom right hand corner on my Android devices in the top left hand corner. Once I click on that hamburger button, I'm going to have the option of, of choosing to go into a number of different locations. I want you to choose video and network settings. Once you've chosen video and network settings, you're going to see these options, upload over cellular data or automatic, automatic video upload. We want to leave automatic video upload on because that's what's going to enable our workflow. That means when I record from within the password protected Sydney app on my mobile device, the video is automatically going to go to my workspace on the Sydney cloud. That's why I leave this on. However, if I don't want to use my personal data, I have to turn this off because when it's on, I'm telling Sydney that I'm perfectly happy for Sydney to upload that video using my data. If I turn this off, I'm saying to Sydney, please, Wait until I'm in a Wi-Fi environment to upload that video, and Sydney will. Don't forget, if you turn this off, Sydney is not going to upload that video until it's in a Wi-Fi environment. Another good thing to know also is that when you're recording within the password protected Sydney app, you do not have to be in uh, you do not you do not have to be connected to Wi-Fi uh, to record, only to upload. So once I'm ready to begin recording, I'm going to select one of these, the record button. When I select the record button, it takes me to my record screen and I have to tap the red record button for the recording to begin. Also, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen how much time you have on your device to record in the, in the, in the Sydney app. 
Once I've successfully recorded my video, you're going to notice, once again, pay attention to where you are in the app. You want to be in my workspace. Those videos that are an offline video, we're going to ultimately delete them. So we don't want to do too much work on offline videos, but we do want to go into my workspace. From my workspace, I have the ability to rename the video. So if I were to, on my Apple device, if I were to left swipe across that video, going from right to left across that thumbnail, I'm going to produce the more or delete options. And on my Android device, if I tap on the three dots beside the video I'm working with, I'm going to get this menu, rename, delete, and copy. If I choose more on my Apple device, I'm going to get those th same three options, rename, delete, or copy to a huddle. Right now, we want to practice renaming our video. So selecting more and renaming video is going to give me basically a text box to type into. Selecting rename here is going to give me a text box to type into. And that's going to rename the video if I want to do it from my mobile app. I can also choose to copy my video from my mobile app. Once again, choosing that uh, left swiping across that thumbnail, choosing more. And now I'm going to choose to copy to huddle on my Android device. I tap those three buttons. I'm going to get this menu. I'm going to choose to copy to huddle on my Apple device, more copy to huddle. And there I'm going to select copy to huddle. And when I select copy to huddle, I'm also going to be um, asked once I, once I select a check, I, I select the huddle I wanted to copy to. There's just be a green check mark beside it. I select the huddle I wanted to copy to. In your case, there's only one huddle you're participating in, so it's not going to be complicated. I simply select the huddle where I want it to go. When I choose that copy command, I'm going to be asked if I want to, if I want to choose uh, to copy any of the comments or notes that I've made. Uh, so if I've made some comments or notes on the video, I can choose to, co to copy the, the video to the huddle with those notes, or I can choose to copy it without. If I haven't had a chance to make notes or comments on the video, I'm not going to be given or asked the question, do I want to copy my video with notes? I'll simply be copying that video into my coaching huddle as it is without my notes. Another way to copy my um, video is from my workspace on the web version of the platform. So if I were to um, leave now the mobile app and go into the web version of the platform, um, you can also copy from there. So here I am in my workspace on the web version of the platform, and you can see that copy command there in the background. If I select that copy command, I'm going to be given a list of the huddles in which I'm participating. And once again, you're only participating in one huddle, and that's your coaching huddle. So you're going to just have one box to check, and you can select that box and then choose copy. If you have made notes on that video and your coach wants to see those notes, you're going to be given a little, a little command over here that asks copy with notes. If you want to copy with notes, you're going to select that and select your copy command. If you do not want to copy with your notes, just straight copy the video. You're going to select copy the video. So those are two ways of copying your notes from your, um, from your either mobile device or from the workspace on the web version. Just a couple of recording considerations. You should record a couple of videos that are not instructional, videos that you do not intend to share with your coach, just to make sure you've got good sound quality and you have the camera where you want it to be within the classroom. And finally, we're going to be sharing with you and really on this space as well, in the coach, Coachee's Landing Space, there's going to be something called Lifesavers. One of the most important things to know about Lifesavers is that you, once you've um, opened the app on your device, you want to be sure you put it in airplane mode so the calls will not interrupt your, uh, your video. That's it for this video, and I hope you found some value in the information that I shared with you today.